what is the difference between a final action and the filing date? The final action chart just means your case can be approved. You can get a green card. The mm. date for filing chart, for purposes of persons here in the U.S., it means they can file an I-45. For persons, for purposes of the NVC, it means the NVC will work on your case. So it means two different things. Not quite as significant at the NVC um, because of the way the process works there. However, very significant for the U.S. because you can't get an EAD card, a work card, until that 45 is filed. And so if you're an OPT student, you graduated and you have a one year of OPT and there's no extension available for that one year of OPT, you need to know that you can file your 485 within that one year and still get an EAD card in order that you don't have a gap in employment or worse, a gap in status. And with the priority dates uh, being backed up, to February 1st, 2023. We're still under a year, but we're not that far under a year. So it is uh, um, the, the the path for U.S. grads is um, murky, is, is probably a good statement. Not a positive statement, but a good statement. Okay. Okay. So what, what I'm taking away from that is that it's really going to depend if you are in the U.S., if you're out of the U.S., and what kind of filing you're going to be doing. And that's kind of what helps you figure out how you're going to look at the filing date and final action charts. Is that right? Correct. If you're out of the U.S., you don't care quite as much about the date for filing chart because it doesn't really mm -hmm. affect you directly. Mm -hmm. You care about the final action date chart. If, mm -hmm. however, you're in the U.S., you care about both charts. Okay. And okay. what the USPS says. Got it. Okay. Thank you, Mike. I think I saw a ton of questions about that. So I'm sure a lot of our viewers really appreciate that clarity.